Hello friends, this video on alcohol phenol and ether part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's understand glycol. So what are glycols? The, they are the ones, they have two OH groups. For example, if you see here, CH2, CH2, in both I have an added OH group. They are the glycols. Correct? This is my ethylene glycol. And there are two types. One is vinyl glycols where the OH groups are added adjacent side, adjacent carbon for example in this case this carbon, this carbon are adjacent carbon and this OH groups are attached so they are called vinyl glycol. The next is polymethylene glycol where uh, the OH groups are attached at the extreme ends for example I have something like this let me add hydrogen right this is a polymethylene glycol so this is trimethylene glycol correct my polymethylene glycol and this is my vinyl glycol. Vinyl glycol, the OH groups are attached to adjacent carbon and here it is extreme carbon. This is extreme and this is adjacent. So let's see the preparation of glycol from ethene. In fact, there are three ways to prepare ethene, sorry, to prepare glycol from ethene. One is the oxidation. I'll take you through all the steps oxidation of ethene directly the second is passing HOCl first and then hydrolyzing whatever output you get this is one and the third is you have to heat ethene with Ag under pressure and then whatever uh, you get output you treat with acid or base so there are three ways of preparing glycol from ethene Let's start with the first one. The first one is oxidation. So in this case, what we do is we take CH2, double bond CH2, that is ethene, we oxidize it in presence of KMnO4. So what you get is CH2, OH, CH2, OH. Very easy method to prepare glycol. The next method is passing. HOCl, right, that is hypochlorous acid, and then hydrolyzing. So let's see this. I have this CH2, double bond CH2. I use this HOCl first. So, what will happen here? This will get OH, this will get Cl. OH, and this becomes Cl. Now I can hydrolyze this with Na2CO3 and some heat. So what you get is CH2OH and CH2OH. Correct. Let's try the third way. Third way I told is you have to first heat in presence of Ag, right, under pressure. And followed by you treat with acid or base. So let's do this. I have ethene, right? Under pressure, I have to heat, obviously, in presence of oxygen, right? High temperature, maybe uh, 500 to 700 Kelvin. So I get CH2, CH2, and oxygen will come here. Now I can treat with acid or base whatever I want. I'll get CH2OH. Correct. Now let's understand some physical properties of glycol. They are all liquid. If you see, this is how it looks. They are all liquid glycols. They are colorless. You see, they are transparent. They are syrupy. If you see, it is little viscous, little syrupy. They are sweetish, sweet in taste, and they are hygroscopic also. They absorb water. They are water soluble. They are water soluble, but it is insoluble in ether. We'll talk about chemical properties of glycol now. So here we'll talk only about two things. One is oxidation, the other is dehydration. Let's talk about oxidation first. So here also we'll not understand much about the mechanism, just understand that. The oxidation, the product is different, uh, different based on the condition. So if you use nitric acid 
I'll get something else. I'll explain these all. Nitric acid, the one option. The other option we'll talk about is the periodic acid. And the other will we use is K minimum. Right? So first let me use the first one that is nitric acid. So if I use nitric acid, now I have a glycol. If I use nitric acid, what I get is oxalic acid. Please uh, remember this term. This is oxalic acid. This is oxalic acid. Correct nitric. If you oxidize with nitric acid, you get oxalic acid. The next is you oxidize with oxidize with periodic acid. Right? I have CH two OH, CH two OH, and this HIO four you get HCOH and you get two actually and you get HIO3 plus water. We will not discuss the mechanism of all this not required for our syllabus. Right? These two are done. The next is KMN4. So with if it is oxidized with KMN4 in fact, acidified KNO4. So, same CH2OH, CH2OH, this is revived with acidified KMNO4. What you get is HCO4. So, if you see, the output is different, right? This is oxalic acid, this is formaldehyde, and this is carboxylic acid. Output is different depending on the oxidation agent we use. Now we'll talk about dehydration. So here also depending on different conditions we'll get different output. We'll discuss here ZnCl2. We'll discuss here heat that is almost 780 Kelvin. We'll discuss uh, H3PO4 and we'll also discuss H2SO4. So let's start with ZnCl2. So I have CH2OH, CH2OH again the glycol. I'm doing a dehydration in the presence of ZnCl2. So I'm removing water. I get CH3COH. Let's see the another one that is heat. So if you see this guy is uh, you know that ethanol. So if we just use heat. See what happens. Let us show you. So in this case, this water molecule comes out like this. So what you get is CH two O CH two O. This is ethylene oxide plus water. Correct. So let's see the third one. That is H three PO four. So I have CH two OH. CH2OH, one more, CH2OH, we get OH like this, yeah. Now what happens is, this is removed. If I use S3PO over here, please remember I just used temperature 780 Kelvin. So with this, you again see minus H2O and what you get is CH2OH. CH2O, CH2OH. Correct, this is what you get. Let's try the last option which we had, and that is nothing but H2SO4. Let's see the reaction here. So, CH, same thing, I'll use here two glycols, and now if you see here, it removes two water molecules. Very strong, right? Do this one and this one. Sorry, 
is S to be HO. Yeah. So this what you get is CS2, CS2, there's an O here, there's an O here, CS2, CS2. Dioxin. These are the four different options based on the different type of agent used. Let's see the uses of glycol now. It is used for antifreeze in the car, in the cold area. It is used to prevent ice formation in the aeroplane wings. It is used to prevent to prepare explosives. It is used to prepare synthetic fibers. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.